of the roughly 143 museums in New York City. This one has to be the tastiest. The museum is called Choco Story. Choco Story. Choco Story, yes. Roughly translated from his native French, it means, well, the story of chocolate. Jacques Therese and his company produce 250 tons of chocolate a year at a factory in Brooklyn. So a Manhattan museum in Hudson Square only seemed natural. I created the museum because I make the chocolates, now I'm growing the chocolates. So it makes sense that I teach about chocolate. This is so sweet. So how do we make chocolates? And by the way, what is chocolates? What is a cacao tree? So we have cacao tree and banana tree into the museum uh, to teach you, you know, how they grow and where do they grow. There won't be a quiz at the end, though there are lessons in commerce, politics, and history. None of it sugar-coated. Well, well, it is, but not that way. <laughs> because this machine is so warm, you know. <laughs> Visiting the factory, you see the man's passion for chocolate and the pure fun he has making it. Christmas is about between 20 and 28 percent, depending on, on the year, but Christmas is a big chunk of what we do. So we have the Christmas red. So this is white chocolate with natural color. So that will be the veneer. If you think about wood, that would be the little veneer on top of the wood. So that's the little veneer on top of the chocolate. This is disgusting! I swear this is disgusting! You have to try this is disgusting! I'm telling you, this is disgusting! Does anybody look good in one of these? I mean, don't you think that I look sexy? I mean, really, look at me. <laughs> it can be bittersweet. Jacques got the idea from another chocolatier who opened a similar spot in Belgium, which you learn at the museum, also has a spot in chocolate lore, but who cares? Museums? You had me at chocolate. From Choco Story, the sweetest spot of all, Mike Sugarman, WCBS News Radio, 8 a.m.